And I think it's very likely that through oxidation stress and plant sterols, seed oils are quite possibly an even more significant cause of modern disease than are carbohydrates and sugars. This paper, for example, after analysis of over 195,000 subjects, concluded that seed oil intake resulted in a greater incidence of death than sugar when it exceeded 6% of energy in the diet. Consider then that the average Australian gets more than 13% of their energy from seed oils. And when we look at the intake of polyunsaturated fat, which is a very good surrogate for seed oil intake, we can see consumption began to rise in the early 1900s. Well timed to have a causal role in the epidemic of heart disease that followed. Which is why three large scale randomised controlled trials, the gold standard of research, have found that replacing saturated fat with seed oil led to a significant increase in mortality. And to my knowledge, there's no study that shows otherwise. Ongoing review of... <music> ...data from the Women's Health Initiative, for example, a study of over 48,000 females, has found that lowering saturated fat intake is associated with an increased risk of heart disease of between 47 and 61%. Findings of another study based in Sydney, which ran between 1966 and 1973, were finally disclosed in 2013, reporting that replacing saturated fat with polyunsaturated fat in men who had a heart attack increased their subsequent risk of death by 62%. And in a very similar story, the mortality data from the Minnesota Coronary Survey, which was completed also in 1973, was not published until 2016. And when it was published, it revealed that in a population of 7,000 participants, increased seed oil intake increased the risk of death. The plant sterols within seed oils also plays a role in reducing blood levels of LDL. It does this by inhibiting the normal healthy absorption of cholesterol from the small intestine that leads to a reduction in the production of the LDL precursor, VLDL, and it also increases the removal of LDL from the blood. And this combined LDL lowering effect of plant sterols is why increased saturated fat intake seems to raise cholesterol. You see, saturated fat often comes from animal sources. That means it doesn't contain plant sterols. And if you reduce your seed oil intake while you increase your animal fat intake, your cholesterol levels may be permitted to return to normal levels. Not go high because saturated fat's not making it go high, but it's the removal of the seed oils that's permitting the LDL to rise back to normal, healthy, physiological levels. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.